All right, Cappies, welcome to mid-March. I hope you're doing well. This is your reading, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate for you, check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. I'll be posting all these mid-month readings this week. If you lose your place on my, on my channel and can't find stuff, hit that playlist tab. We put everything in a playlist. So all the Capricorn readings, uh, individual uh, videos for Capricorns are in a playlist called Capricorn. Okay. All right. Let's see where we go. Uh, feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher, so just keep that in mind. Um, next week, or well, I guess later this week, I'll be talking more about the spiritual business class relaunch that's happening in April. Going to be focusing a lot on clearing away any kind of blocks to money. Going to be doing that, and we're going to be focusing on launching that business, getting you off the ground, getting you to a place of financial stability for yourself. All right, that's something that's really, I'm very passionate about that, helping people make their own way. Okay, and I've done it for myself, so I'm happy to help you guys figure it out. Capricorn, you may not need my help, but I'm here, just in case. All right, how can this be a wonderful win-win-win? Enter one step forward, one step onward. Very nice. Your effortless effort is fully required. It's like you already have this in the bank. Boy, money's coming through loud and clear today. I'm just talking to two of my favorite Capricorns. I have two very close friends who are Capricorns. And I've been kind of, you know, <laughs> we've been talking about some kind of similar things about like, it's time to get moving. Like you've put a lot in the bank or you've put a lot of effort toward uh, building your skills, building what you're creating in this life. I feel like there's a time, it's probably gonna be next week when we get to the um, vernal equinox when you actually put it into action. I'm doing this reading uh, right on the 15th of March. So for the next five days or so, dream big. All right, dream big. Let's see where we're going, Capricorn. Ah, dealing with a Sag, are you? Possibly. Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. So, this was in the Capricorn reading too. It's about how um, can you shift out of a mindset of, I put in this much effort and this is what comes back to me, to a, a different mindset of what I have is valuable, like one to many versus one to one kind of thing creating group coaching, creating, you know, group programs, creating courses, classes, whatever it is. Um, I feel like there's a Sag or a Virgo who's here to help you. Wow. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. Two of Cups, Sun. There's Leo energy, Gemini energy, Magician, Four of Wands. Wow. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Chariot. You are leaving behind something that did not work. Did you have a partner or a, well, maybe a business, but like any kind of partnership that is over for sure is over. It's like time to, time to ski daddle, <laughs> ski daddle. I haven't heard that word in my head for a long time. Time to move on. There's new stuff right around the corner. The two of cups. I, I feel like you already know this. I feel like you're already knowing that you're going towards someone who is uh, manifestly more capable. A Leo, a Gemini, Cancerian, Sag. Some of you, um, this might not be about your work. It might be about a love partner that you've had who has really abused you. Um, and, you know, there's a safe, Haven ahead. Okay, there's the same port, but you got to take a step. You got one step forward, one step onward, and your effortless effort is fully required. There is something here about Saturn. Um, Saturn just moved into Pisces this month, and it's like Saturn is rewarding dreamers. All right, it's in Pisces, the the energy of dreaming, and. Saturn is kind of like grounding those dreams. Um, just like the magician here, like how do I, 
I'm asking the universe to bring together all the elements that will make me successful. I am going to bring my own energy of happiness and joy. Uh, I do feel like there's a single person, there's a single person who is um, going to help you or going to bring you to this next level. All right, that 10 of swords, seven of swords, wow. All right, who are you dealing, yeah, it's time to get away from this fool. Time to get away from this person or the situation. It's like, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a work situation or a love situation, there's something so much better uh, on the horizon here. Um, two of cups, four of cups and chariot. Like you could like run away with somebody. Seven of cups, queen of cups, six of swords, the moon. Oh yeah. Eight of swords. Okay. Five of pentacles. Look at that. All right. Um, the person that you had been dealing with, I feel like when you move away from them, they're going to be uh, acting like a big victim. Like when you decide to move on from whatever the Ten of Swords and Seven of Swords is, I feel like this person is not going to let you go very easily. I think they're gonna act like a big old victim. They're gonna act like, wow, you know, I thought we were gonna be together. I thought we were gonna do this together. And your Sagittarian Gemini friend, whoever this is, I do feel like that person's gonna help you get away from a very bad situation, okay? I am seeing uh, Cancer and Pisces here. I see Gemini again. All right, somebody's really gonna be helping you. Uh, some of you may, some Caps, this is so unusual for a Capricorn to have some issues around mindset around money. But I think the mindset around money is because this person, this Ten of Swords and Seven of Swords really undercut your self-worth and value, it's just like you just have to remember who you are. You gotta remember how talented you are. You gotta remember how great you are, all of these things. And I feel like that water sign, water sign or Queen of Swords, somebody, uh, Queen of Cups, somebody was very, um, had a vested interest in undermining your self-confidence. But nine of pentacles, I feel like you're getting it back. I feel like there's somebody around you that is modeling um, self-confidence. Yes, this is the eight of wands, right? Eight of wands, lots of downloads coming to you when you open up to the universe. Huh, okay. Empress, eight of pentacles and the, and the hermit energy. This, I feel like this Sag, Sag Leo Gemini person is somebody who's single. Um, they might be a business partner for you. They might be a teacher or a healer for you. This person is gonna help set you on a new path. All right, setting you on a new path of creativity, of expansion, of something that you are really here to do. Um, I feel like this person sees you differently than this, than this other person did seeing you differently. Wow, look at that. Emperor, Tower, Nine of Wands, and the Page of Swords. The message is here, we're all among friends, right? Yeah. There might have been a little hard-headedness in this for you. You might not have wanted to move on from this person because you're feeling like you could handle it. Or you're feeling like, well, that's not the issue. The other person's energy can't be the issue. I have to take responsibility for every single thing. Right, correct. But you don't have to sit in it. You don't have to stay there. People are toxic sometimes. You don't have to be like, well, I can certainly, I've made this choice now, I gotta lie in it. You can make another choice. It's okay. It's okay to say, listen, this isn't working for me, I'm going. It's okay. It's all right. And I feel like that's going to bring a lot of self-confidence back to you. This message here, page of swords, king of pentacles, page of cups, five of swords. Look at that. Ten of pentacles. Uh, I just feel like king of pentacles, ten of pentacles, that's you. And you're like finally seeing this ten of swords person as a five of swords, somebody who was doing this on purpose, manipulating you or trying to keep you down. And I don't think you have to be mean or I don't think you have to be um, vengeful or anything like that. I think you just have to say, you know what? This isn't my path anymore. 
sorry, time to go. This is not my path anymore. And that's what I feel like you're doing. All right, that's really beautiful energy. Um, I'm gonna do a week to week in the extended. I will be looking at that. Let's see where we go with this. I do feel like you're about to break out of this. I'll get a timing card for you too as well. All right, link is below Capricorn if you wanna continue on with me if this is your reading. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.